Hey guys, well another day, another adventure. <clears throat> Today I'm on a service call. Uh, you may or may not remember that Uncle Phil um, bought that gray Hyundai Elantra that I had. He bought it about two years ago, so he's been driving it ever since. And he called me last night and said that it's suddenly running like a bag of crap. Doesn't know why. Apparently they've thrown some parts at it. They put plugs, plug wires, cam position sensor, <coughs> um, coil packs. Just about everything you could think of. When you're guessing it, trying to fix something, that's what you do, of course. You know, you just throw parts at it. Hope you get lucky. I guess it's easier than, you know, playing, playing the lottery or or going gambling or something like that, kind of a game of chance. But anyway, so he called me and says it's running really, really bad. So I'm gonna head out to his place here. And let me tell you, I call where Uncle Phil lives the end of the world, and you probably will agree it's way out here. I'm about 45 miles from home. And got the old chicken houses going out here. You people that live in other parts of the country that don't do chicken like this. Y'all are really missing out on this. In the summertime when the windows on those things are open, it nice, smells nice and rough and ugh. Nothing quite like it. So yeah, anyway, that's that's what I'm doing today. I'm gonna go check his car out. I brought, I didn't really bring any tools with me. I just uh, brought a multimeter and spark tester. That kind of stuff. Right around me off the road there, dude. Because uh, it's either going to be something simple like an injector or it's going to be something bad. Uh, when he got that car from me two years ago. It had 175,000 miles on it. And the last time I saw it a year ago, it had about 200 or a little over. Look at that pile. This is a horrible road to drive. My voice sounds kind of quaver because I'm, I'm hitting these little ridges all over the place and the car just shakes so bad. I'm like, oh, 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 So we'll go check that out and see what's going on there. I called him at 9.45 and he was asleep. <laughs> so he's getting some Z's. He's retired now. So just soaking that bed up. So yeah, what, what is that? I reckon a house. Yeah, you guys here. We'll just keep the camera on here a little bit longer. You guys can see um, some good old country folk living up here. Where we get to up a little ways here. This is a road you wouldn't want to drive in at night because you can't see all the potholes in it and there's no stripes on it and there's the pavement it's just <laughs> now I'm certain I'm not the only uh, this is not the only place in the country that has roads like this but some of them are actually still dirt but this being dirt might be an improvement this is Alabama, they put a patch over a patch over a patch before they actually paved the road. This road's probably not been paved in 30 years. Look at that. Yeah. You can actually see that. I guess. radar detector has fallen off the dash so many times. I'm shocked it even still works. And I, I've got the little Velcro things to go on the back. Of, they're on the back of it, but I didn't put them on this car. Oops, on my foot in there. I didn't put them on this car because <laughs> I just kind of hate doing that. I may have to. Into the highway, and we got to make a little trip on the highway again and then make another turn. So I'll do a little bit more filming on the way up there because it's pretty neat. See ya.